Hey yo together and very welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown Yep, we have to do some research studies uh, Interrogate a thorough This creature clearly a member of the alien leadership cast responsible for this invasion presented us with an extremely risky and difficult interrogation prospect. Despite our previous experience in safeguarding the facility from the potential effects of the abilities exhibited by the psionic alien species, this captive's power exceeded the previously established limits of our testing. Much of the information we were able to discern from this creature was cryptic at best, as it made every effort to resist even our most invasive in invasive procedures during the interrogation. However, the experimental imaging equipment we had been using to monitor the alien's brain activity did reveal a very unusual pattern of neuro neural activity that we believe is closely tied to the creature's power. This information should prove useful in reducing the time required for our research and variety of things. Then let's do the autopsy. This specimen appears to be at the top of the alien hierarchy, and for good reason. As you've probably seen, its physical form is not suited for combat by any means. However, these elders have an incredible pool of psionic energy at their disposal, ah. which helps to explain why the other species are subordinate to them. Those are the elders um, XCOM 2 is referring to very early in the game. The elders. Those are mind shield available for manufacture. Nice. This specimen appears to be at the top of the alien hierarchy and for good reason, as we've noticed the field. Blah blah blah. Uh, their bodies actually appear to be quite frail with evidence of other things over an extended period of time. This is not surprising, as initial radi radiocarbon dating indicates the particular creature could be several thousand years old. Wow! Unlike the other specimens we've examined, there is little little to indicate that it was genetically enhanced, at least not with the same ambition as the other. Strangely enough, we have uncovered similarities between the ethereal brain and that of the sectoid commander. Both show the same enhanced synaptic connections, confirming our suspicious suspicion that this is the likely source of the power. These ethereals appear to have an incredible pool of sun energy at their disposal, more than anything we previously encountered, which helps to explain why the other species are subordinate to them. The unit analysis view should provide blah blah blah. Okay. Mind shield. I accept the fact that there could be risks involved in studying this new alien device, but the enemy leaves us with no other choice. Do we not have an ethical obligation to prepare these mm. soldiers? for the changes, permanent changes, that they will experience. We're coming down to the wire here. Yeah, I see. Have a shift. Carry on. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Okay. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. Yeah. And that is Having learned a great deal about the... Uh, get out. Get out! We will be in touch. Oh. Having learned a great deal about the hyperwave be beacon and its associated interdimensional signaling capabilities, we believe this newly recovered device confirms our suspicious about this technology and takes it a step further. The Psylink, as it is now being called, appears to provide a direct link to the Psylink network used by the aliens for field communications. Although we are treating Treating into an area of highly theoretical science, we believe there is a strong indication that the aliens function under a collective consciousness, a form of social organization akin to a hive mind, as seen in various species of insects found on Earth. It was until our first interaction with the thorough species of alien that we were able to understand the scope of the psionic abilities we had previously been exposed to. Also, we have only scratched the surface in terms of developing psionic abilities within a human subject. We've now theorized that it may be possible to join the alien's 
consciousness to trap into their hive mind, to tap into their hive mind by successfully activating this device. However, in order to ensure the safety of Exxon's headquarters, we will need to construct the chamber that minimizes the potential risk of the rest of the facilities during the intervention process. As it happens, two of our brightest uh, young minds, a team of brothers, have already con conceived of the facility appropriate to the stars. If we manage to locate a soldier with an aptitude uh, for psionics and find a means to develop these abilities further, I believe it will only be a matter of time before we succeed in activating the device and find the source of the solution. Psy armor. Thanks. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. To work in the lab. So we need to start working on the housing. Yeah, yeah. Contact detected. Scout. Let's go. Let's have a look then. Come on. Pew pew. And then let's level up Alex Usher. Finally, we need to do that. So important. Engaging bogey. Engaging bogey. There we are. Engaging. Wow, that's a big ship. I mean, it's just a scout. Scout. Ethereal mutant elite mutant berserker. Heavy floater mutant scap sca sector patrol. Sure. Wow, but it doesn't help. Not wanting is not an option here. Okay, let's have a look. Um, lightning. I need to level up. It's important. Mm, yeah. Two heavies. And one support. Okay. No! Oh no! Oh! I forgot to change Bruce armor again. But we can't fly back, can we? Strike one. Prepare for landing. I try it. I I try it. That's better. <laughs> Oops! Uh, I'm not wearing the right thing! I need to go back to the base! Okay! Mission denied! Delayed. Okay, let's begin the assault now! Lol! Get ready <laughs> to deploy! Our AO is within the continental United States! Air of operation, okay. Avoid additional damage, yeah. screw that. Blah blah blah. 3, 2, 1, dropship has arrived. Go. Um. Yeah. Central, this is Big Sky. Okay. Strike 1 is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike 1 is clear to attempt the breach. Oh! Oh, it's a very big ship. I forgot. I forgot! But oh, that's not good. Um, you know what? We're gonna scout him first. Because that's most important. Scout for enemies. Then we go into cover. As best as we can. Put everyone on Overwatch. If possible. Oh no, Bruce, you're not in cover there. Oh, you are. Okay. Overwatch. 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 Of course, there's the sector pod. Of course. Why not? Hello there. And Bruce misses. Great start to this game. Oh my goodness. Well, hello then. Ooh, I'm a big guy. I have big and mutants. Where? Oh my! Wow! I didn't. Wow! Okay, okay, that was good. Uh, keep it going. Come on, Connor. Oh, nice second shot. Mm, nope, that's not good. 
But they are moving twice. The problem is the sector pod. Please move. Please don't. Okay. Now. You're gonna fuck them up as hard as you can. First of all. I'm gonna throw that rocket. Like that. Come on! You need to hit! You are going so down, I hate you stupid aliens, I'm gonna blow you up! Every single one of you! Get out of here! Come on! Hit rocket! Do it! Mmm! Damage! <laughs> Oh, Berserker, I'm so scared! Why do you panic? Kill him! BAM! Booyah, boys! I can't even count how many aliens we killed. No, wait. Where am I? Okay. Because that's for me. Hit him hard! Nice. Promotion? Not quite yet. Ah, oh, but we will get myself up again. And we are gonna go. So, those were... Well, hello, dear. I'm gonna kill you and kill you and kill you. So we got two... One berserker. Two mutants. Two drones. One sector pod, if I'm not mistaken. And now, those guys up there. Uh, two heavy floater, maybe three even. I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't care. Okay. So now that we cleared some ground, let's dash forward. And keep some pressure on our opponents. Like in StarCraft 2, it's, it's, it's like in StarCraft 2. You dealt heavy damage and then you strike. You drop all your tanks, you stim your marines, you go in and you clear everything your opponent got. Two overwatches. <laughs> Man. Major Mari, what's going on with you? Are you so scared? The good thing is, I can trigger those guys. Um, overwatch. Because I don't care, it's a machine. And I'm floating in the air, so they don't hit whatsoever. Because they can't aim. Okay. 100%. Oh, critical hit. Bye bye, bitch. Sorry for that, but I'm so hyped right now. I'm super hyped. They can try to deal damage, they can try to be as annoying as possible. But guess what, it won't matter whatsoever. Because they lost their big guns already, means for us, we can strike hard now. That was a mistake. Oh man, I need to go to the toilet super urgent. That's so unpleasant right now. Maybe that's the reason why I'm keeping the pressure up. Three heavy floaters and they all can't hit a single machine. Okay. I'm gonna evacuate that thing now. Evacuate. Yeah. Um, because you join down there. Bye bye! <laughs> See you later! So if they try to come to be annoying, they get a shot, a bullet between their eyes. That's it. So, they shouldn't dash with brutes. That's for sure. So let's have a look up there. Okay. Whatsoever. No way, wait, wait, wait. I'm waiting. You move and then you're waiting on Overwatch. And Bruce Overwatch as well. And Connor Overwatch as well. So we killed five units at the Oh hello there! 
does what? Time. Oh, okay. No, not quite yet. Polo targeting? Not for. Oh, that's nice. Maybe. I mean, I can try. Maybe I get the promotion. Nice! So, six aliens down. That's good. Um, yeah, you just move there, get some repair. I really do like that I can repair the ship. That adds so much more survivability to this, and I can use it even more better for scouting. That's so useful. They get there just in order to die. <laughs> Look at that! I think that's it. I got all of them. I guess so. Oh yeah, let's repair it once more. So it's at uh, full life again. That's nice. And then we use the ship to float there. Wee -wee 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 -wee. Put it on Overwatch. Oh, okay. Um, get Bruce to that location as well. Okay. Good, good. And you have to join the front, so... What? What? Okay. Okay. I need to step up. So. Oh! Ooh! Okay, okay! Well... <laughs> and they're all shouting, Oh my god, my flank! Uh, my flank! <coughs> I got you covered. I have the feeling that Alex Sasha 2 is way better than Alex Sasha 1. I mean, his kill-death ratio is... Okay, kill-dash, but... Hit-miss ratio is so good! It's so super good. I almost always hit. It's amazing. Of course I got the scope, but I, I think the scope is only for critical hits, not for hits as... Oh no, I got the upgraded scope, so it's for crits and aim in total, for both. Yeah, right. Um, I just need to make sure that I'm joining you as well. Um, yeah. Run! Run! Faster! Go, go, go! Oh, yeah. Reloading weapon! Reloading weapon! Reloading Radio weapon! Rockets. Overwatch! Uh, reloading weapon, I guess. Locked and loaded. Okay. So far, this mission is really good. It's so helpful if you know what opponents, what enemies you got. To the flight mode. Wee, 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 wee. So now we can fly it to the other side. Look at that. Oh. Overwatch. 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 Uh, join. I need one more turn to make sure I got ammunition. And then we go in. At least we have a look. Let's have a there. look at least. Ready to engage. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Good. Very nice. Nice room. What was that sound? I have no clue. Maybe the ethereal. Hello, baby! No one there. Huh. There they are. Okay, so one ethereal and a mutant and that's it. That's it? Oh, strange. Caps, go, go, go. Um, 
Connor. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, okay, it should be fine. The funny thing is the Ethereal can't get into cover. And I don't know why the Elder can't get into cover. That's very interesting. Okay. So, caps. That that could be helpful. If it doesn't trigger yeah, nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, somehow my controls are a bit ah okay that's the reason. I was one layer above. Connor, you don't trigger the overwatch. Nice, 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 okay, I like that. I really do like Z. It's funny, Some sometimes when I cast or stream or sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes it happens. And that's totally fine, no offense there, that some guys, I assume Germans, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's happening there. Mind control, please not. Ooh, that's not difficult. That's not difficult. Uh oh. That's very difficult. How can I break the mind control? I don't want to kill. No, I don't. Oh no, that's so bad. Okay, the shift can go here. It's even worse? Oh, okay, but it's a solid hit. I don't know how I can because he's flanked. If I move him here, he's flanked. If I move him there, he's maybe not flanked. But he's still flanked. It's, it's very bad. Eight damage. I just don't know what to do here. I could do up to 10 damage or 5 damage, but the grenade doesn't hit. I can't trigger the grenade. So I think I just go with the shot and hold. Oh, Hulu targeting, okay. Cover the flanks. It could work. No! Reflect attack! Why? Oh, why? <sighs> How is this remotely fair? Repositioning on us. I don't know. I That's so bad. Most likely I'm gonna lose a soldier here. If I damage him... Maybe I can break the mind control if I damage him, but... No. 
They're shifting their attack. Oh, he's wow, he's sucking out his life leeching. Okay, but maybe that means he can't move. Of course, you can. Please, please, please. Okay, no critical hit. That was luck, pure luck. He can no, no, no. Okay, he's just critical wound. Oh. Okay, I need to end this mission fast. I got better chance to hit up there. Why? I, I hate this game. Seriously, this is bullshit. Reflect attack into stupid stuff. Okay, can I now? Please, where can I go? Because I can't throw the grenade. I could go there. Yeah, let's try it. Oh! This game. Blech. So Connor is back, and that's really good. But what do I do now? I could throw a grenade. Okay. Grenade out. I think I throw a grenade then, if that's what I can do. I don't know. I hope no one dies now. But this could be so bad. That's okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that's totally fine. Two more. Okay. You know what? I go down there, right next to him and flank him. And he survives with 1 HP, of course. But that gives me the opportunity to try to flank him. And give him a bullet. Out of the game. All mission objectives completed. Three, two, one. Dropship has arrived. Only one promotion, of course. <laughs> okay, let's scan for the psi armor. We've reached a point on our research of the Inspiring Abilities and their associated cybernetic implants that we are confident enough to begin preliminary tests of this technology on human subjects. Although the system we have might will require the use of a lightweight armor suit with reduced defense capabilities, the Psy armor should more than compensate by providing a significant boost to our soldiers' planet abilities. It is our hope that bolstering these abilities within our soldiers will provide new insights as we seek to discover the source of the alien's collective consciousness. We still don't fully understand the link between the visible psionic abilities and we've seen exhibits by the aliens and their use of psionic as a means of communication. I believe it's very likely we'll find out a way to activate a thorough device if you can successfully fabricate this armor. Good! Psy armor! Ghost armor, Psy armor. How many can we get? Illyrium, okay. Ghost armor. Let's see. What is with the Psy armor?
Okay. In the right huh. hands, this suit could be the most dangerous thing we've ever developed. Hmm. The troops should have no trouble handling recon duty as long as they're equipped with this suit. It's as close as we've come to true invisibility. Ghost mode can activate a special mode that makes him or her invisible grapple. Okay. Provides a moderate bonus to defense equivalent to partial cover. Okay. Whereas movement speed is increased. Okay, grapple mode no has been added. So the ghost armor is very useful. Psy armor. Will is important. Hmm. The Titan armor is good. But the ghost armor. The, the thing is, the ghost armor provides a moderate bonus to defense equivalent to partial cover. So maybe if I'm in cover. Bonus to defense. Ah, defense. Okay, defense, not HP. I need to check that one out. I, I think I will have a look on the wiki what's best. Because it, I, I miss 4 HP, which is a lot. Um, but the ghost armor is indeed useful. And the psi armor. Oh, psionic class only. Oh, okay. Lol. <sighs> I should have read f before. And now it's too late. Damn it! I wanted to equip all, all of my units with the ghost armor to make sure they are not attacked by the mind control any longer, but that doesn't work. But the ghost armor is indeed useful. More defense. Hmm. I think I will give the snipers. The sniper, the ghost armor. Because they're always in high cover means they will have more defense. That should be good. Yeah. Ghost armor. Oh, I like that one more. So, where is... Where am I? Hello, where am I? Where am I? Ghost armor. Okay. Okay! So here we are, firstly done for the first part now. I definitely need a break. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.